All right, here we are in video three of lesson two, module two, and we're on number four in your learn book. Blake has 19 yards of fabric. He's gonna make a pair of pants. He uses one third of the fabric to make a quilt. How many yards of fabric does Blake use for the quilt? Okay, so let's make a tape diagram. Make sure you're recording this in your book. There's our 19 yards of fabric. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to erase our 19 yards of fabric. I meant to pick up a pen. All right, there we go. And we're going to label our tape diagram 19 yards, right? 19 yards. That's how much fabric he has. And he's going to be breaking, uh, needing one third for the quilt. So we're going to be breaking our tape diagram into three parts. Two lines makes three parts. And now we have thirds, right? And he needs to make one third. So that would be our question mark part one-third of the fabric. How much is one-third of the fabric? So what is our division problem here? It is 19 divided by 3, which we know from module 2 is the same as 19 thirds, right? And then we can do the division problem and find out what is 19 thirds. Um, that probably because 19 is such a big number, you want to actually write it out as a division problem. 19 divided by 3. Hmm, let's see. 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 6 is 18. So we're going to put our 6 here. 6 times 3 is 18. And then we subtract. 19 minus 18 is 1. So the amount of fabric he uses for the quilt is 6 and 1 third yards, making sure to always label, right? And it would be great if you could write a sentence. It's a little hard for me on this laptop right now to write a sentence. Um, does it make sense that the answer is less than 19? Yeah, because we're only using one third. He needs the other two thirds for his pants, right? So that makes sense. Would What if the question asked you to find how many yards of fabric he had left? How would you solve that problem? What does he have left? He has these two thirds left, right? So then we would take our 19 and we would have to subtract the six and one third and see what is left after that. Okay, so we are working on tape diagrams instead of arrays, but looking at how they're related here in lesson two. Thank you for your hard work. I appreciate you. Aloha.